Hi, it's Wednesday. We are continuing our study on success. Not as the world defines it as power to get whatever you want, but success as Jesus modeled it. And Jesus modeled success as the contributing to the betterment of others. That's the success that Jesus modeled for us. And so we're using the, the word success as an acrostic. So the first uh, letter is S, and we, we talked about selecting one goal. Many of you are not successful because you're trying to do it all. You know, you, you, you're like a kite flying in a hurricane. Yes, yes, yes. You need to select one thing and just go for it. The U, unlock your potential. Right? We talked about that yesterday. Uh, many of us only use 10% of our potential. To be a genius is 25%. So let's, let's drive. Let's, let's go 15, 20, and let's go for 25. So select your goal. Unlock your potential. And today I want to talk to you about the first C in success, which is committing yourself to God. So committing yourself to God's plan. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. So as we, we're trying to find our success, we need to commit ourselves to God's plan. Don't do as I did. Earlier in my, my, my younger years, I wanted to be successful. And so I chose the career of electronic engineering because I wanted to be successful in, 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 in the financial world at the time. And instead of committing myself, see, I committed myself. I ba was baptized when I was 12, but commitment is where I'm surrendering everything to God. And so I followed my own path and I was an electronic engineer, um, network and computer engineer for 10 years till God said, okay, you, are called to be a pastor. And so I surrendered finally. Well, I got laid off. See, you either going to listen to God in, in la buena, in the good, or he's going to have to use sometimes pain to get your attention. So as you're committing yourself to God's plan, you need to ask yourself, are you consecrated to God? Uh, do you trust him? Do, do you spend time with him in the word, praying? Uh, how about your gifts? Have you, have you recognized your gifts that he has given you? If you're not sure, ask your friends. They will tell you. Are you involved in ministry? Are you involved in something? Because if you're trying to find out that goal, it's probably right in front of you. But if you're not doing anything, you know, they say it's, it's, hard, it's, it's easier to move an object when it's in motion, when it's parked, like a car, it's more difficult to move it. So I would invite you, uh, volunteer at a community center or at a local church or a school, wherever, so that you can discover where you can contribute to the betterment of others. Select your goal, unlock your potential, but today I want you to commit yourself to God's plan. And that's my thought as I sit on my yellow chair. God bless you, see you tomorrow.